Hey folks, JD here and today we're going to be taking the Ghoul RC out this time for an outside flight. Now there is one thing I want to say that I did repair this with a bit of plastic cement because I crashed it the other day when I was flying her indoors as you saw at the end of the video but when I was coming here the cement actually snapped in my bag uh, so we've now got a little bit of a weak spot there which I'm going to keep my eye on. I'm not entirely concerned at this particular moment because I'm flying in an empty field and there's nobody else here. It's grass is its landing medium, so it should be okay. Let's uh, get this up and see exactly how she does. Now, one thing I said indoors is that she is very, very fast. So I think she's going to be a flighty little bird outside as well. And today we've got speeds of up to six mile an hour winds. So we're really going to be testing this thing. Even though she has got a cracked propeller arm, she is flying extremely nicely. And it's so nice to have a quiet quadcopter. Okay, I have just been flying three racing quads, one after each other, so for me this is practically silent. I have not got the, uh, the app on here today. We know the camera is not brilliant, and at the same time, I just want to see how she flies. Speed mode three. She is a quick little thing. Look at her go! <laughs> Look at her go! It's not bad, you know? Really not that bad. Really good, really good. Certainly a very steady co copter. Can I flip as I go? No, I can't. Okay, so flips. Forward. Back. Oh, I've been buffeted by the wind. Right and left. Oh, oh, my fault. My fault. I tried to be a little bit too greedy there and flip after a flip after a flip and uh, didn't have enough power in those little brush motors, bless them, to, uh, to get her back up there. So let's see. Okay, let's calibrate that gyro again. Can I take off? Or have I got to rebind? No, I can't. Off I go back into speed mode 3. She did take off in speed mode 3 to be fair I didn't have to turn off the quad so therefore she remembered the last speed mode that she was in but still <clears throat> I like to make sure and that arm doesn't look as if she's been bothered by it one bit I mean I do not recommend flying your quadcopters if they're damaged or anything like that uh, but at the same time with this you've got central supports and you've got two supports holding on to there and only the one of them is weakened um, so the other support is a main running beam underneath it which is then screwed in to the motor housing so that's why i'm okay with flying this one because even though it is still a support arm which is cracked uh it's not the main support arm which is cracked if it was the one that was actually screwed in then i wouldn't be flying this is good this is very very good for a small little copter outside with six mile an hour winds this is good she seems to be doing very very well now i am in speed mode three so we are going to see that battery deplete rather quickly couple of funnels there and then back out she goes yeah she's nice you know what she is nice and you know the best thing about her as well i think is that she's quiet Yeah, I mean, you could hardly hear her. She does very well. She is doing very well. She really is. Fair play to you, little, uh, little quad. And her turning is tight as well. Tight corners, tight turning. Not much wallow when you turn her either. And there's a pigeon. All I've had today, I've flown... Today I've flown nine quads. And every single quad I have flown, there has been some sort of animal, some sort of flying winged beast that has decided it wants to try and take my quad down. So there was a heron, there was two seagulls, there was a baby seagull, that thing was goddamn persistent. There was a little pigeon just there, well he wasn't little, you could feed off that for a week, the size of him. Um, all deciding that, yeah, your quad looks fantastic, JD, let's go for a bit of a nibble. But then again, you know, we have had horrific storms for the past fortnight, so this is why we have so much animal activity out. 
because I wouldn't be at all surprised. Well, when we did have the storms, I hardly saw any birds. And the, the one seagull I did see fly when I was on my way to when I was cycling on my way to work, uh, he couldn't even fly in a straight line. Bless him, he was going every single way. This is nice. This is tight. This is very tight. It's cornering. It's manoeuvring. Is very, very, very good indeed. Look at it go. Look at it go. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. This is a lovely, lovely little quad and it's inexpensive, it really is, for what it is. That's nice. It could be made from thicker plastic because the crash that it sustained in my living room was not, you know, the be all and end all. It was quite literally, uh, I misjudged the corner, came in, hit the, the mantelpiece, uh, which had a load of birthday cards on. And uh, yeah, I just quite literally just, you know, took out that, um, that arm. So that is my gripe. My only gripe with this so far is that, well, there's two gripes. One is the, the, the quality of that plastic just isn't good enough. It's uh, very brittle. And uh, the other one is that, obviously it's Wi-Fi quad, so you are gonna have breakups on the, uh, on the camera there. This is why today it's purely flying, purely flying, because I just wanna see how she does. And here comes some of the wind. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Look at that. And then straight back at it. <laughs> and then up a little bit higher. Again, no problem. No problem. tell you it's good stuff it's good stuff but uh, yeah so there we are six mile an hour breeze a nano quad in six mile an hour breeze it should not be done especially with brush motors this thing though this thing's a little animal Let's take her out a little way bring her back into me that speed mode three absolutely beautiful really nice and you can get a bit of distance out of her as well. I mean, I haven't pushed her. Should we push her? Let's push her. So over we go. And away she goes. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, fair play. She's doing good. But I can't see those lights. Ah, now I can. Ah, they're flashing LVC. Okay, let's bring her down. I was thinking to myself, that's a long time. It's good battery life. We just check. Yeah, they're flashing. Okay. And stop. There we go. Nice. I like this little thing. This little thing is very fun. Very, very fun. Let's turn you off. See, that's the crack I was talking about there. Oh, come on, turn off. But uh, yeah, she flew very well. Flew very well, I like this. But as I said, it has got two issues. One of them being thin plastic, and the second one, because the plastic, even though, you know, you do, this is where a lot of people get it wrong. You do need to have thinish plastic. It, the quad, as it moves, does not stay rigid. It shifts ever so slightly. So as you're cornering, the quad shape is gonna shift slightly. It's very, very slight, but it's enough. If you have a rigid quad, and we have had a few on the channel which have been very rigid, and their cornering leaves a lot to be desired. Plus, when you have an impact, you want it to sustain the impact. Now, this one goes against what I'm saying there because it didn't sustain it very well. It actually cracked. So, um, you know, that kind of goes against what, uh, what I was saying there. But at the same time, this is a very fun, very fast quad. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really taken with it, but I have got to see what I can do about that plastic arm because that's bothering me. Maybe I'll just get another one printed, perhaps. All right then, my friends, I think that's it for this one. I'm going to be taking this out again in a little while, but for now, I'm really happy with how this flies. What are your thoughts on it? Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.